Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWplans.com on Instagram, ERW underscore plans and Etsy, ERWplans.etsy.com. Also on Patreon, patreon.com slash ERWplans. Today, we're gonna do a walkthrough of how I'm setting up my 2021 passion planner. Um, in the past, I've actually kind of set the planner up with you guys, and that's led to some really interesting moments in like the uh, 2019 20, and 2020 uh, setup videos. So what I'm doing instead today is I'm just gonna, I've already set up most of it. I'm gonna show you what I've put in there and how I'm gonna use those trackers. Um, and kind of describe what I'm going to be drawing in as opposed to the ones that I have um, stickered in. So this is the uh, uh, Serpent Spring Passion Planner. And if you can't kind of tell from that angle, it's already pretty chunky and it doesn't want to close anymore. Uh, it's in my uh, cover that I've had for a few years now from uh, Coco Paper and it's just, yeah, this doesn't want to close. It kind of actually bows a bit. So I feel like this doesn't bode well for uh, how well this planner is going to hold up for a whole 12 months if just the back pages are making it kind of bloop up. Anyway, so there's that. Um, there will be an index page that goes in here and a key that goes here. This I'm reserving for my vision board. Um, there will be a separate video of how to set up a vision board on these two pages in your planner. So keep an eye out for that. The next page I have, uh, this is in my shop. This is the word of the year gear to glance page. Um, word of the year, I'll select uh, 22 before 2022, 22 things I wanna accomplish this year and then my overall vision for the year. This is a new sticker to my shop. This is the uh, letter to my future self. Uh, every year I write a letter uh, at the beginning of the year to myself to read at the beginning of the next year, at the end of that particular year. I have no idea what happened to 2020's letter. It just seems so fitting, right? That like 2020's letter, I don't know where it went. It, it has disappeared, I cannot find it. Uh, it's just kind of the perfect end of 2020. So for 2021, I actually made a sticker. It is in my shop and you can go grab that. So you can use that as a back page, front page, whatever. I'm using it to set my intention for the year. So it's going with my year to get plants page. Also in the front pages, uh, we have the big dreams and goal for the year set uh, that's in the shop. Uh, that actually comes with the personal goals these two pages and the action plan, which I did not put in my planner this year. Uh, the My Big Dreams is just a really large space for you to, like underneath this sticker is the um, map where you're gonna map out like your five, your one year plan, your five year plan, etc. And then the little tiny area here where it, you know you set up your uh, goal for the year. Uh, these stickers are just ginormous versions of that, got rid of all the text. So if you've never set up a passion planner roadmap before, read the text first, then maybe you could even do this sticker um, while it's still on the sticker paper and then stick it in. Uh, but if, you're, if you've been with passion planner as long as I have, you already know how to do a roadmap. So we have no text, we're just gonna spend a lot of time. So we have a lot more brainstorming space on those. And then my future log for 2020 also in the shop so you can put in your uh, events for the next year. Um, this year I'm doing something a little bit different. You can buy just one side of the future log. So if you're running like an academic planner and you really only need this 2022 page, you can just buy this 2022 page or just buy this one. Or if like you ever have a quarterly planner, like if you're using Amplify, because this medium is the same size as an Amplify planner. So if you're just using Amplify, you could just buy one side of it for the quarter or you can buy both pages. So that's something new for 2020. And then we get right into our months. Uh, you saw my previous video on tabbing. You saw me put, tab out all these. There's January's tabbed out, uh, February sticker kit in the shop. Uh, March will be coming soon. April, May, all these tabbed out. June, 
The only sticker I didn't put in yet is my mid-year roadmap because I'm not sure if I'm gonna use a mid-year roadmap or a mid-year review sticker. Uh, you get a monthly reflection area after June and then you go into this mid-year roadmap. I do have a mid-year reflection that's kind of like the end of the year reflection that you could use here. And I'm not sure if I wanna use that or not, so we're gonna hold on that, to that for a minute. July, August, September, October, November, December, all tabbed out. And then I didn't cover the end of the year reflection yet because I haven't designed that sticker yet. All right. Um, so level 10 life goals, uh, which is actually from Chelsea Brown shop, which is chelseabrowndesigns.etsy.com. Uh, the only difference is I added this uh, wheel of life to the design um, so I can kind of color in as I go up the each step. Um, so how I'll fill it out is I'll put 10 goals for each of the different 10 segments and then there will be a color coded uh, segment assigned with the wheel and then as I complete like let's say I get to my fifth business goal then that segment of the wheel I'll color up to the number five there. Um, this is a personal page for business tracking uh, that I bought from Design Glow a while ago. I don't think they even have it in their shop anymore. Um, this is the finance tracker from Chelsea's shop. I just uh, made some modifications to it so I can track all my business finances. We have my fixed monthly bills, so things like web hosting, uh, newsletter hosting, uh, expenses as they come in, so things like the sticker paper, toner, ink, etc. And then all my income sources here, outgoing advertising here. Uh, another one, this is part of the Design Glow bundle that this was from. Uh, submissions, so I can track my submissions to magazines for publication, uh, my wish list of things to buy for my business essentially. Uh, blog tracker and blog post brainstorming. This I screwed up when I was stickering. Um, this should be blog post tracker, blog post tracker here and here, and then brainstorm, brainstorm here and here. So I've decided I'm just gonna roll with it. The brainstorm will be for the first six months, and then this brainstorm will go for the next six months. That's, that's how we're gonna do this. Um, and with this one, we fill it out where this will be my totals at the end of 2020, and then January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, end of year totals. Um, all right. We get into the orange tab next, which is my mental health tab. This one is going to be a, um, I believe that's gonna be my therapy tracker. Or no, this is gonna be my self, this is my page for self-care. Um, I was going to design a self-care sticker set. I still might with like a bunch of hand-drawn little things on there. Um, but that's what that page is for. This is my mood tracker available in the shop, in my shop, arwplans.etsy.com. Uh, medication tracker. This one is a quasi new sticker. Uh, the mood tracker is like a uh, year in pixels tracker. Um, I had a lot of custom orders last year for this particular sticker. Um, so to kind of streamline the process, the blank uh, year in pixels sticker will be available in the shop and for an extra $2, you can have this customized to say whatever you want. So medication tracker, therapy notes and homework, go here. And this will just be kind of like high level uh, visual note taking details of the things I'm working on in therapy, things I need to keep working on uh, for homework, for therapy. This is going to be my certified uh, professional photographer tracker. Uh, a lot of you guys know I've been working on that certification for a couple years now. Um, and I always draw it in. This year I wanted to get really creative with how I drew it in, so I've left this blank. And I will show you on my Instagram channel when this is done what this looks like. Uh, blog post brainstorming. For This is going to be different. The red one is for my photography page, green one, is for my erwplans.com blog, whereas this one is for elizabethwilliamsburg.com blog. 
this is my video brainstorm for my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Elizabeth Williamsburg. Um, again, brainstorm it out, and then I can keep track of when I posted it, what I shot, what I edited, and how I did on those. Uh, this is that. This is how the blog tracker that I fucked up back here should be posted. Same layout. Um, this is my financial goals section. This is the the same as the business goals from Chelsea's shop that I showed you guys back here. This one just says personal goals. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. This is my uh, sticker that's kind of based on the Dave Ramsey baby steps. Uh, model I'm gonna have all of my debts to pay off except for my student loans here uh, then my three-month emergency fund while I'm throwing money into savings and really cool hit the shop this week we have the um, weekly savings where you put like a dollar week one two dollars week two I have those stickers in the shop that you can add to your this is the amplify set but I have a set for passion planner daily and passion planner weekly um, in weekly amount, so week one, one dollar, week two, two dollars, and as a bi-weekly, because if you get paid like bi-weekly, like I pay myself bi-weekly, it's a lot easier to just do add two, add seven, add eleven on your payday rather than add one and then remember next week to add two. So those are in the shop that coordinates with my savings jars here. So if you're trying to do the step one of the Dave Ramsey baby steps and save a thousand dollars for an emergency fund, these will help you do that because with this set you save I think thirteen hundred dollars by the end of the year. So anyway, three month emergency fund savings here, um, and then max out the Roth IRA contribution. I'm also doing it as a little savings jar because it's for my uh, future savings essentially. So we have that. This is going to be a gifts given and received page. Uh, if you've seen in the past, I usually do something very creative, either like gift boxes or I, last year I did a whole painting here uh, for gift ideas. This year, I think I'm going to draw in just a regular tracker. I had intended for a sticker to be designed here, but with COVID and everything else going on this year, I kind of ran out of time. So this will be something, once again, very creative. Um, holiday card sticker. This is in the shop. Uh, name address of the person you're sending your card to um, when you if you sent it the date you sent it and the received is if you received one back so that way you'll know like okay I need to send it to these people because they sent me cards maybe don't send it to the people that didn't send me cards don't know uh, if you have a business you could use this as like a client list of who to send cards to so get that um, this is my weight loss tracker I'm gonna try and get a uh, back down to a healthy weight this year. I was at a healthy weight in January of this year uh, and then COVID happened and now I'm no longer at that healthy weight. So just did my weeks out, did my weight pounds down to goal weight and then you know each week as I weigh in just on little dots fill in where my weight is. Um, so there's that and I'm actually going to set up a small uh, weekly passion planner to be a weight loss tracker and when I set that up I'll show you how I lay this out but it's real it's a real simple grid so it, it's nothing super complicated just some fancy handwriting these are my fun tracker stickers um, my NaNoWriMo sticker that was in the shop um, it's in the last chance page as of this filming uh, because it will expire and I will do a new design for 2021 so if you want to get this one, it's 10% off in the last chance section of my Etsy shop right now. Uh, this is Create 52. This is a different uh, challenge, photography challenge each week. I have that set up here and I will be filling in the challenges as I go. That's my creative tab. In my fun kind of relaxation tabs, we have um, movies to watch in the shop, shows to watch, a brand new sticker in the shop, uh, show name, the networker service so like if it's on a, ch a channel you can put the channel there if it's uh, on like amazon prime or netflix you put that in there the season and then the episodes and this one uh might not be totally intuitive because you're not going to necessarily fill out all of these blocks here um there are 24 blocks i believe over here in the episodes column so it would be like whatever the show name is the networker service season one let's say and then you know episodes one two blah 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 you fill out all that out and then color them in as you watch the episodes 
if there's multiple seasons, you could do season two episodes, blah, blah, blah. Season three episodes, blah, blah, blah. If they're, if it's like Doctor Who and there's usually like less than 10 episodes per series, as they call it, or season, you could actually just do a dividing line here and be like season one, episodes one through 10, season two, episodes one through 10. Uh, but if there's multiple seasons, then either you're gonna write the same show name over and over, or you can just write the show name one time and then one, two, three, four, five, however many seasons. Um, if you're gonna watch an epic show like The Simpsons, which has like, I think 20 episodes a season over 30 something seasons, you'll probably need to buy more than one of these stickers. Um, but mostly, most of the shows I watch, like the Baby Yoda show don't have a lot of seasons. So that's another one where you just divide this in Baby Yoda show on Disney Plus, season one, episodes one through eight, season two, episodes uh, nine through whatever it is. So that is how you would use that sticker. Uh, this page is my travel bucket list. So if travel happens, and uh, so far my conference for February in Las Vegas has been pushed out to August, um, and we'll see how my conference in uh, April goes. Uh, but if you are going to travel, you can either make this like a, in general, bucket list for your whole life, or just for like, if I travel, if I do travel to Las Vegas this year, what are the absolute must do things while I'm there? Like visit Shark Reef, I do that every time I go to Vegas. Um, eat at Burger Bar every time I go to Vegas, uh, et cetera. So you can do it that way or just do it as a, like, I wanna go to the Maldives someday or I wanna go to Fiji someday. So you could, you know, do it that way. Um, I left this page blank because I think I wanna do like a um, favorite songs kind of tracker over here, favorite albums of the year. Cause I sometimes I forget what albums I buy, like an album that came out early this year, like Fetch the Bolt Cutters. Um, I actually forgot that it came out this year. <laughs> so a uh, good way to track like the albums, um, maybe even like do some stickers as album cover art, etc. cetera. Uh, books to read. I did this as a two page spread because I want to do a book a week for 52 weeks. There are 30 spaces on each page, and that gives me some room for book club. This sticker is available in my shop. It's laid out with title, author, is it a book club sticker, or is it a sticker as part of like a 52 weeks goal, a decolonize your bookshelf goal. Purchase, borrow, did you buy it, or is it due at the library, and then you can write like your due date in there. The date you start writing your, reading, writing, reading your book, and the day you finish reading your book. And then this page back here is going to be my writing tracker. Um, I'm going to do a the 2021 NaNoWriMo sticker, be kind of similar to this, um, make some tweaks to it, and then I'm going to have one that doesn't say NaNoWriMo so that you could use this to track your word count any month of the year, not just necessarily in November. That's going to go back here as well as like a year in pixels sticker like I talked about before. But instead of saying mood tracker, it's going to be writing tracker and it's going to have uh, boxes so I can color in the days I write and my key there will be uh, how many words did I write like 200 500 is that so and then my final sticker is going to be the or my final pages I should say are my when did I last and my cleaning schedule I meant to make these as stickers for the shop this year and I might get them in later in the year but I ended up hand drawing them in. Again, it's a COVID year, best laid plans, you know. So when did I last change my toothbrush, buy new mascara, all of these down here, four spaces. For some of them like KonMari the house or see these doctors, um, I have them, instead of what date did I do them, like, and you do it four times a year. In this case, it's living room, kitchen, bedroom, bath for cleaning the house and see the doctor, GP, OBGYN, dermatologist, ENT, allergist, and then I left a few blank spaces in case I have other specialists I end up having to see during the year. Car maintenance, new tires, that kind of thing down here. So I separated that out from oil change and cleaning out the car. Cleaning schedule, daily, weekly, with the boxes to color in as I do it weekly. Bi-weekly, with the boxes to color in as I do it bi-weekly. Monthly cleaning tasks, with the boxes to color in as I do it monthly. Semi-annual tasks will go down here, color in the boxes as I do the months, and then the annual tasks down here. And then I have my back page that is blank that I will use as a Tombow marker tracker so that I can always turn to my back page and see what my Tombow markers look like on this particular paper. 
um, you can check out my setup video for the 2020 planner to see exactly how that will look. So that is my planner setup for 2021 in a nutshell. Um, again, if you want to see how any particular page is filled out, uh, you can check out the 2019 video or the 2020 video where I filled these out with you guys. I'm also planning on doing some shorter videos for uh, some of the back page stickers. Uh, you can see me doing those in the quarterly setup page and uh, setting up your business planner and setting up your weight loss planner. So that is how I'm setting up my planner for 2021. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like, um, leave a comment, and of course, uh, subscribe so that you can catch the new videos when they go live every Wednesday. Um, and thank you guys again for watching and enjoy the next video coming up.